Welcome to the Island Time. Uh, this program is brought to you by Pacific World Incorporated. And we'd like to thank uh, Comcast for allowing us to be able to air this program on Channel 6 every Thursday, 9 o'clock, we will have this program on. Uh, we also want to thank uh, uh, IKEA for allowing us to use this beautiful facility, you know, to do this recording today. But our program today will go as follows. We're going to uh, look at some of the highlights of some community activities that went on, uh, you know, here in the Salt Lake Valley. Uh, the National Tonga, the Tongan National Society uh, celebration. Uh, we'll be able to look at the uh, benefit concert by Junior Maile and the uh, rest of the, the groups that are involved. We're going to have some highlights of the um, AMA uh, Semeli Missionary Farewell uh, today. So these will be some great programs and every week will highlight some of the island, uh, some of the community programs that are happening here in the Utah Valley. After that, we're going to feature an artist of the week. Uh, and the artist of the week that we're going to feature is Junior Miley. And uh, we have an interview with him and uh, have the opportunity to sing a few of his numbers so you can also see the great talent of this wonderful young man. He told me that he learned his music through singing in primary, singing in, at home, singing in church, and, and so forth. So you'll have a chance to hear from him. After that, we have a special interview with a young man that's running for House of Representative. His name is Elias McCraw. This young man uh, has a lot of ambition, a lot of great issues, especially a desire to serve our Pacific Island or our island community here in uh, Salt Lake Valley. Uh, when we finish with that, uh, we're going to have the island, the island word for the week. And uh, Ta'aulisa is going to host that. Ta'aulisa uh, received his master's from uh, BYU and uh, is also teaching language class, uh, especially the Samoan course at BYU. And he will be hosting our word of the week uh, program. Uh, after the word of the week, we're going to talk a little bit, uh, something that really is, uh, is a problem with uh, a lot of our Pacific Islanders, and that is talking about some of the, the health issues that, uh, that are afflicting our people. And we're going to have uh, Pola Malu, is uh, uh, one of the NFL players playing, playing for the Steelers. Uh, that he will talk a little bit about that. And then at the end of the program, we're going to have uh, some fantastic entertainment from all around different islands uh, that we can uh, enjoy for your evening. Uh, this is a format for today, and as the program progresses, uh, we're going to add more things to it. We, and we ask you to call us if you have some recommendations, suggestions at um, 801-427-2900. Without any further ado, we'll uh, take the time now to look at uh, the highlights of some of the activity or events in our community. Yeah, mahalo and aloha. <laughs> Just 
just a little while for fish and a boy. I wanna go back to my fish and boy. I wanna go back to my little red shack. Girl, give her her light. Everybody say, we love you, Big Knox. One, two, three. We love you, Big Knox. 
Thank you for coming out. Drive home safely. Welcome to Island Time. Over here we have a fantastic concert here tonight for the benefit of, uh, of Lucky's family. And we're very, you know, we're very lucky to have all the children here or some of the children, right? I know there is some more of you, okay? And they perform a beautiful dance tonight. I wish we could capture them, but I'm going to give them the microphone so they can introduce themselves, okay? Hi, I'm Mose and I'm nine and I like pizza. <laughs> I'm Malia and I'm ten. I'm Ellie and I'm seven. I'm Lena and I'm twelve. Talofa <laughs> Pitpuna. You know, we, we welcome you to Island Time today. And, uh, you know, it's always a pleasure to see you. You know, you support our community so much. You know, and with this concert tonight, can you tell us a little bit about this concert tonight? Sure. Uh, one of our brothers, uh, Nucky Maile, passed away uh, a couple of years ago. And so uh, his family decided to come together. And, you know, with the expenses of hospital bills and the cost of living, they, they wanted to make sure that uh, Nucky's wife, Abby, and his daughters were, you know, had some help. Not, not, not taking everything, everything but, but just to make sure they had some help and to also show their support and their love. So everybody that performed tonight, they're, they're, they came of their own free will, um, donated their time and their great, talents great. so that, you know, people could come and have a good show. Uh, it, was, it was a great turnout. You know, you know there's a saying called, uh, there's a saying that, that goes, it takes a village to raise a child. This, this is evidence of that. You know, we're all coming together to help out and hopefully what will happen from this is not just wait for another benefit concert. You know, we help our neighbor that's at home next to us, you know, in our community and not wait for, for someone to have a benefit concert to come out and show our support. Well, I think we really love that uh, council that you gave for our people, that you don't wait for a benefit council. So what what's going on? Is there another activity or another concert, uh, concert coming up? This is it. This is an annual concert. This is the third annual uh, Naki Benefit concert. So we'll have another one around the same time next year. So it's you know it's a, it's a good event. But as I was telling people, and this is something I try to teach my family, don't wait until the benefit concert. You know, there's lots of people out there, and there's lots of ways you can help. Donating your time, uh, the Utah Food Bank, the Bishop Storehouse. There's lots of ways that we can help out, and we can make a difference. I know there's a lot of people listening, you know, to this program. What's your last word uh, of uh, advice to all our people here? Um, my, my only advice is, uh, you know, uh, to... to, to let the Polynesian spirit live. You know, that's how we were brought up in Samoa and in Tonga. You know, we help people. If you see somebody walking on the road, hey, come in, have some cocoa. It doesn't, we don't have a lot, but we share, and we should continue that even though we're living in America. So there it is, uh, viewers tonight. Uh, welcome to our island time. You know, you listen to uh, Big Puna. He's, we're very proud of him for the accomplishment that he has put the name of our people in, on, on the map so we're really grateful for that and it's a pleasure to interview you you used to interviewing people but now we have a chance to interview you hopefully we can do some more things together as you see our program island time yep. okay. Th thank you for the support really appreciate the love and support i, I represent you uh, we are one thank you What is today all about? 
it's just a little celebration I need for my life. For me going to serve a mission. Yeah, I'm going to Dallas, Texas. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, really, really, really happy and just glad to see all my family and friends. And it's just a blessing. Hope you have a great mission and uh, God bless. Thank you. Oh, my father is a man. Oh, I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm going to tell เออซูไม่มาตัลเอาไม่เอามันมีไอ้ละสอละตะลิยาเตฟะมันไม่ฟ่วยอิเลลียาละสอซอนยาเตยะเนี่ยสวยมะลังอะตวยนี่มาฟ
it's one of those things. <laughs> and of course, our people, you know, we, we love we love music. So, can you? Uh, who are your parents, uh, Junior? Uh, my dad is named Mati Maile Senior, and my mom is Tisa Maile. You have brothers and you have brothers and sisters. Yeah, um, my brother that passed away is uh, Naki Maile, and uh, my oldest brother is named Rex Rex Maile. So it's just us three. <laughs> and an adopted sister, I should say. It's all right. uh, Junior, I know there's a lot of people watching out there and would love to probably, you know, hire you or, or you know, to come and play. What, what? How can they get a hold of you? Do you have a phone um, number? The phone number is uh, off limits. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, you can usually contact me on Facebook, me or my wife, uh, Mona Maile, as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're usually open to. So we do a lot. I, lo I do a lot of luau gigs uh, right now, just because I love, I love seeing our people's music. Um, but as far as like, you know, I haven't been doing too many other kind of shows. Um, just this one every year. So. Well, you're you're a great role model for all our, our kids, and you know, a lot of our Polynesian kids they really want to make it big in music. <laughs> you know, what are you? You know, what are some of the influences or what music influences you that you like to? Um, I actually love uh, all kind of music. Um, you know, as you heard in the concert, we, you know, reggae, uh, country, you know, hip hop, church music. Um, you know, I, growing up in Florida, you know, I, I listened to a lot of soul music, <laughs> R&B stuff, hip hop stuff, and reggae. Um, and then moving out here, I've listened to a lot of country. So I, I like it all. I like all good music. <laughs> well, well, thank you very much, uh, SR. We we. Feature, we'd love to feature you as our island time uh, artist. Sounds good. You know, for our show to start with. Okay. Awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to say to our community? Uh, no. I, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that you guys came out and had a good time. Um, and I hope to keep doing this, <laughs> keep doing this benefit concert for the kids' sake. Well, we encourage you to keep on doing it. You have a wonderful voice. You have a wonderful spirit, <laughs> and we appreciate your you always helping out for anybody that needs help. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Elias. We really appreciate your coming uh, be with us this morning. Thank you. Um, I, I believe that we had a chance to meet uh, with, with some of our Polynesian community up at the uh, Flag Day celebration in Taylorsville and, and other events. But we wanted to uh, see if you can, you know, talk with us. Uh, we, we feel that uh, that you can be a great asset to our Polynesian community or our Polynesian people. So let's talk about that so we can, uh, our, our viewers, Polynesian viewers or whoever views the program can see that uh, value of your, you know, running for office from District 36, right? 38. Yeah, 38. And maybe you can also explain uh, where District 38 is, you know, an area that, that it covers. But let me ask you to share some information about your, yourself. Well, thank you. I, uh um, uh, first, I'd like to, to say that it was a pleasure for me to be part of uh, the, the Samoan Flag Day celebration. It was, it was um, um, very touching. Um, I really enjoyed the opportunity, and uh, so thank you very much uh, uh, for allowing me to be there. Um, so my, my name is Elias McGraw. Um, I, I know I have a Palangi name, but uh, I was adopted. Um, I was uh, initially um, uh, from I uh, was born in Brazil um, and uh, and then came to the United States when I was about 11 years old and um, and so that's you know a little bit of my background uh, in Brazil they speak Portuguese and uh, and actually you know the uh, the, the Brazilian uh, tribes uh, that uh, were there even before the Portuguese came there um, you know some of the uh, uh, in their in their history it talks about how uh, you know some of the their people uh, went up um, in the uh, uh, off the coast um, right. and uh, eventually they, they built it boats and went to and, yes, yeah, and then went to the island so you know we're, we're essentially the same people and uh, and um, 
it's uh, it is very important to me to uh, to be involved in the Polynesian community. Okay, with with uh, District uh, 38, uh, w what's the boundary? Uh, wh where is the boundary for District 38 that you represent? Well, it's it's kind of a, a crazy thing if you if you look at the map. But uh, on my website, uh, there's a map there, and you can also find it on uh, the state or the you know the county uh, website. Uh, but basically, the uh, uh, the boundaries go from 4700 south to 70th uh, south, and then from 4015 west to 6400 west. The thing, though, is that you know the the uh, uh, position that I'm running for is is uh, Utah State House Representative. So you know it's State Congress, uh, even though we don't call it that. Um, Utah State Legislature, and that means that I will not be uh, representing only the people in District 38. I will be representing everybody in the state of Utah. You know. That's interesting. That's a very interesting point because that encompasses all the other communities that uh, that are around you. Yeah. So, and that's that's probably why it makes you very uh, a very strong candidate in helping our our community. Uh, how about uh, talk a little bit about some of the issues that you are aware of? You know, maybe you know not only with Polynesian, but if there are some specific issues with the Polynesian community that are that you are aware of, would you share that with us? That's probably part of your platform, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, uh, and really, you know, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, uh, the, the, the two important things are working families and, and education. I think education being the first, the first one. But there, there are many things that we need to do. There's, uh, you know, there's so much need, um, so so many things uh, that we need to do. Um, we we need better representation, and especially for minorities, because we, you know, there's there's a lot of misunderstandings. That's true. Um, you know, one of the very important things. Uh, for minorities is education um, and you know I just mentioned that Utah is one of the uh, has the lowest funded education system in the entire country our nation the last I checked and that was uh, last last year um, I would say that education is definitely one one very important thing but you start looking at education is not just about going to school and and getting a diploma uh, going to college, uh, the means to go to college, which we definitely need to work on, uh, and we have some some politicians that are trying to take away, you know, the the ability of of uh, the common uh, citizen of this country to to uh, to uh, receive a proper education. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, the education, as far as I'm concerned, has to do with many things. Uh, for an example. Uh, education ties into health care. Okay? Our diet um, and the way we live mm -hmm. makes a difference. The, the fact that you know in the in the schools we don't have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of emphasis on physical education reflects on our health. Uh, and uh, so raising the level of awareness on issues that affects us in uh, health wise. Is is a very big education process, right there. Exactly, yeah. and and I and if you, if you look at the uh, the Polynesian community itself, you know, Polynesian community has the highest rate of infant mortality in the state of Utah out of any eth ethnic group. Interesting. Um, we um, the uh, the Polynesian uh, woman uh, over fifty percent of them don't receive proper prenatal education and care um, so you know there, there are a lot of things I mean you know I just I've suffered from gout you know a lot of us suffer from gout because of, of our of our um, our diet, diet yeah. uh, because of our you know lack of understanding sometimes uh, so you know there are a lot of different things that, that that we need to to look at and and try to to uh, to change by educating people by right. creating programs, and one interesting thing is that it is it is more difficult for a minority um, 
and specifically Poly Polynesian people, right. to to uh, to say, okay, I'm going to go to the doctor. You know, there there are there are misunderstandings. Um, of course, there's the cost. Okay, a lot of us can't afford it, mm -hmm. um, and and so you know there there's there's a need for us to come together and uh, you know there are different groups out there uh, the, the, the the Pacific Island uh, Islander uh, coalition is trying to do some great things about that so the the best way to to have our voice heard in Congress or you know in, in the government is for us to elect officers that uh, represent our needs and represent you know what we what we lack very true. And what we need to, to push forward, you know, other than that, we're not going to be getting anything at all. And that's why it's so important to elect the right people, you know, in, in office that represent, really represent what we, you know, what we stand for and what we need. So I mean, it's important for people to go out and vote and, and, and make sure that their voice, that's how their voice are being heard if they go out and select people you know, that they trust and they need. Very true, and, and you know, really the, the reason why I decided to run for office is because, you know, really, I, I you know, I, I haven't felt that, I've, that I'm being represented. I mean, these issues that, that we're talking about, they, they're issues of lack of representation, you know. Somebody that is supposed to be representing us in government is not. And so that is why I decided to run for office. Now, um, Something that most of us, and you know, talking about that education uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, need that we were, we were talking about just now, that it's not just within the schools, but uh, it, it comes, you know, it, it has to be in the home as well and in the community. Uh, we, most of us don't vote. And the interesting thing is that we're now the majority. So if we're the majority, that means that we have power through vote. That means that we can, uh, I'll give you, you know, statistically speaking, I know, I, I, I don't know a lot of uh, different numbers for every eth ethnic group, but I, I was looking at uh, the uh, statistics for, uh, from the, the previous, the last census mm -hmm. that, that uh, right, right. the federal government conducted, and 35 to 37 percent of the people in District 38 actually um, are Latinos that can actually vote. Um, that's not counting all the Polynesians, all the, uh, uh, the Asians, and all the different ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. And so we, we're truly the majority. And when we have numbers like that, that means that we have power. We have power through our vote. And I know that, you know, typically minorities don't go out to vote. We don't, a lot of us are not even registered to vote. But the important thing is that we understand that it is not only our right, but our duty. And when we do not vote, we're, in, a, in essence, voting. We're really throwing away our right, the right that is rightfully ours, yeah. you know, to be able to, to, to make a vote. And, uh, you know, that's why it's so important for all our Pacific Island, uh, you know, to go out and register. Is there a number that they can call if they want to register? Um, you could go to the uh, to Salt Lake County uh, uh, Sherry Swenson's office. Mm -hmm. um, she has a website you can register there. The the state um, also has that. Uh, but if you go to my website, it's www.eliasmcgraw.com. So. Elias McGraw or EliasMcGraw.com. Um, you can uh, you can actually uh, register to vote there. There's also a map of the the district, um, and uh, also you know we're doing voter registration. That's something extremely important, uh, so important that we are actually going to people's homes and knocking on their houses and trying to talk to them about registering to vote. So I have the paperwork. Um, and you can uh, call me as well. It's 801-577-6088, 577-6088. We're coming to the ending of our interview over here. Uh, is there any pressing issue or any last words 
that you want to, to say to our community. You know, and then I'll, I'll, I'll say some closing remarks and after that. Okay. okay. So um, I would just ask you to make sure that you're involved in your community, that you support um, you know, the different programs to, to further education, to, to empower the kids in our community, and, and uh, to, to improve our communities. But most important, it is important that we understand that our vote is power. And we need to make sure that we're registered to vote, that our families, that our friends, that everybody is, is, has that understanding, is willing to come out and, uh, and, and vote for that person that they truly believe that's going to, to, to represent them. Uh, and so, you know, from that perspective, I, I think that uh, that is one of the most important things we can do. That's, that's, that's how we can change the future. That's how we can change policy that is going to affect the, you know, the future right, right, of, of right, our people. Right. So that's a key point, is getting involved. You know, getting there and become part of the system and, you know, instead of sitting around, sitting on the fence, waiting for something else to happen. So we're grateful for that. We'd like to thank you again. The, Prophet Dai Lama. Elias McLeod, you know, uh, appreciate your, your involvement in our community. You have come up uh, and support a lot of our events, and so we really appreciate that. Word of the Week, the program that helps our young people learn how to say things that they'd like to say in the Polynesian language, in Samoan, Tongan, Fijian, Maori, and all other Polynesian languages. If you'd like to know how to say something in your particular Polynesian language, please make sure to email us. The information will be provided at the end of this program. At this time, let's go check with Malia and see what our word is for this week. My name is Malia. I want to learn how to say hello. Thank you, Malia. So today, we're going to talk about how to say hi. And in Samoan, we say talofa. As our studio audience just said. Everybody say talofa. Talofa! When we say talofa, we're not just saying hello. We're also extending good wishes and love to the person that we're saying hi to. In Tongan, the word for hello is maloi lelei. Maloi So just like with the word talofa, maloi lelei is extending good wishes and love to the person that you're saying hello to, which is something that's shared amongst all the islanders. In the Maori language, we say kiora. Everybody say kiora. Kiora. In Fiji, we say pulavinaka. Everybody say pulavinaka. Pulavinaka. And in Hawaii. They say aloha. Everybody say aloha. Aloha. Thank you for joining us on Word of the Week here at Island Time. Remember, write this word down that you just learned today. Use it as often as possible. And until next time, this is Ta'aula Sa saying Tofasuke. Uh, this is Mia, and we have Choi Palamalu with us today. So, Choi, um, how are you liking this conference today? Oh, it's very nice. It's really nice. Um, what kind of advice do you have for our young Pacific Islanders, mainly the Samoan community? Well, my message to them earlier was that I think first and foremost, it's a uh, you know, not to diminish the importance of the exercise is the reason why we're here in child, childhood obesity. But the first, to, to first reattach ourselves of what our culture is really about, the virtues of humility, of love, of compassion, and all these producing the ultimate outcome is a really joyful life. Um, I think if we, if we can bring that, because we were all raised with these, and if we can, if we can exercise these virtues, and, and affect people around us, you know, that aren't that that didn't grow up with these virtues. I think that's 
uh, for the most part, the most important thing is to, to live a virtuous life. And then after that, you know, then live a healthy and happy life. But ultimately, our, our, our happiness and joy will come from the exercise of our virtues and our spiritual health. Thank you. Um, one final question. Do you have any tips for all of our community watching us right now? Do you have any tips for our younger generation that they can take with them and probably try to instill in themselves? Well, as far as the diet is concerned, you know, it's tough, it's tough to eat, eat healthy, you know, when the cheapest way to go about it is, is just buying a, you know, a Happy Meal or something like that, which is very unhealthy. Um, you know, our, our cultures are, are deeply rooted in farmers and agriculturalists, you know, people that grew, that fish, that grew, that grew their own crops, grew their own calo, grew their own mangoes, pineapples, everything. And um, I think if we can start connecting with that more, you know, just stop, stop eating the unhealthy stuff, eat stuff that's natural, um, raw foods, um, fruits, and less, you know, less of the, the unhealthy stuff. Well, thank you so much, Troy Palamalu.
you watch this show today. And we ask you to tune in every Thursday on General 6 at 9 o'clock p.m. for Island Time. This is Baila Mutia, your host for the day. Mahalo. <laughs> Oh